Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Oswald came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. Requesting a status update from Midtown North. APC Oscar under fire. Get the demon. Mr. Call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. The poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve. And he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Sorry guys, kinda gotta see something, do something code. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. All Sable teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? 
All agents, someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Stable teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert level. Okay, just two more modules. Attention all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. There it is. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy, Control. Bird inbound. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, I gotta find that last module. There's the last one. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B&E right now. You pompous son of a bitch! You're lying! Ah, oh, don't be too mad, Norman. We know you and Fisk built a secret Devil's Breath lab, but we still don't know where it is and what Michaels has to do with it. Let's hope your computer can tell us more. GR27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis, Huntington's, this is crazy. Creepy. Whoa, GR27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Simple Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards! How are you trying to reach it? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head up to Central Park. Back 
backup needed for a chase in progress. Officers, please report to Lincoln. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Whose bright idea was it to put a circuit board in a fence? Out of the way, fella. here somewhere. him for long. units. He carries the only sample. is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. 
Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. Hope is ego. Again? What's up with these lights? Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. <laughs> Again? What's up with these lights? Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Oh, what that the was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Heard Sorry, Charlie. Get the over here. Okay, time Wait, to go. No, he knows something. That was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knocked a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero.
Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Like me, but I can't let them kill each other. Time for my special brand of conflict resolution. Okay, I think I can finish listening to Doc's message. I've had an epiphany. All about the mind. Take me, for example, a mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. He's not too excited. Breaking. I better stop the entrance. Man, this goes away and suddenly it's amateur hour. I should get extra credit for this. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Demons are out of control. There are easier ways to make money, guys. That's socially destructive, too. much cash.
Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter.
I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... It can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Ah, uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. <laughs>